In homework 3.4, we also give you equations for the position of our robot. So let's start with the center coordinates of our circle, because our robot is undergoing circular motion. And we can look at the xy coordinates of our robot before the motion. Now the question is, given these xy coordinates and the robot's orientation angle, theta, how can we find cx and cy? Well, we just define a right triangle. And we see that if this angle is theta, we can show this angle must also be theta. This length is r, so that means this horizontal distance is r times the sine of theta, and the vertical distance is r times the cosine of theta. That means that cx is just equal to the initial x position minus this extra distance, r times the sine of theta, and cy is equal to the initial y position plus this extra distance r times the cosine of theta. OK, now let's let our car advance by some turning angle beta. Now this angle is beta, and here's our robot car. Let's call these coordinates x prime, y prime. How can I get an equation for x prime and y prime? Well, we can see that this total angle here is equal to beta plus theta. And just as we defined a right triangle before, we can define another right triangle, where this line is going to be r times the sine of beta plus theta, and this line will be r times the cosine of beta plus theta. So working from our center point, x prime is going to be equal to cx plus this extra distance, which is r times the sine of beta plus theta. And the y prime we can see will be cy minus the extra distance of r times the cosine of beta plus theta. Theta prime, of course, will just be equal to our old theta plus the turning angle. And we can't forget to make that mod 2 pi. Good work.